Hello, I'm Jeremy Gray with Camped Out with Indiana Football. And there are a lot of positions on the field that people are talking about in regards to this Indiana football team. A lot of people talking about the underrated linebacking core, quarterback Ben Chappell, Darius Willis at running back. But perhaps the strongest position on the field for the Indiana Hoosiers would be the two safety positions. And we're going to talk to them both, Nick Polk and Austin Thomas. Nick, a lot of people have been talking about the defensive ends on this team, and rightfully so. A lot of attention play, paid to a lot of the offensive players, and rightfully so. But the safety positions between yourself and Austin Thomas, definitely one of the strengths on this year's team. I definitely uh, think so. You know, me and Austin, we've played a lot of football, and, you know, we've played a lot together. And, you know, we're friends off the field just as well as on the field. So, you know, just the strength at the position, I think we're going to, I know it's, it's going to be an exciting year. You know, we're both coming off injury, so we're really excited to be out here with those other guys. Even though, you know, there's a lot of hype about it, you know, other positions, that's, that's just going to help us out as well. You were talking about strength. You used the word strength. You're a guy who converted from wide receiver to the safety position, and that was one of the big question marks when you made that move. You've added a lot of bulk, but now you've got a new weight room to work out in. Talk about that. Well, you know, the new weight room I just worked out in and on Monday, and it's, you know, it's just it's just exciting just to be in there, just the, the atmosphere around it, you know, with the with the, room, the new team rooms and the new meeting rooms just around it and how, how huge it is. It's just, it's just pretty amazing. What's the deal with the Mohawks? You've got perhaps the best one on the team, but a lot of your fellow uh, teammates on defense especially have the Mohawk going on this year. You know, we, we discussed it a lot this summer. Like, uh, you know, a lot of the guys are going to get Mohawks. We even talked, you know, Will Patterson and then getting in Jamie Curlew. Like, I had my Mohawk last year, and I don't think it looked as good as this one. But, you know, last year I had my Mohawk. I had a couple of designs in it. But, you know, I've been, I've been growing my hair for a little while, so I just, you know, I just told my barber just do whatever he wanted to it. So, you know, this was the, outf you know, the outcome that I had. As a slow, small, and short guy, I don't get a choice in the matter, but if I could play any position on the field, it would be free safety. You get to make some picks. You also get to hit people pretty hard. Which do you prefer doing? I, I don't even know if it, I, I have to go 50-50. Just, just for the simple fact, you know, getting the interception, you know, you get the ball to the offense, you know, maybe you can score some points yourself. or, But, you know, just getting that big hit, you can maybe, you know, make a wide receiver just cough the ball up. You get the ooze from the crowd as well. So I have to go 50-50. Austin, checking out all the guys earlier this week when the Boys and Girls Club came into town, there are a lot of guys on this year's team who had mohawks. Last year, I recall, you had a mohawk, but now you got the full head of hair. What's the deal? Uh, you know, I just decided not to go with it at the beginning of camp. I mean, it's a long camp, so some crazy stuff can happen. We'll see if they, I can get talked into it or not. But uh, as of right now, I'm, uh, I'm sticking to it, sticking to the regular hair, letting it grow out a little bit. A lot of people, and rightfully so, are talking about the great defensive ends that Indiana has on this year's team. But a unit that's kind of gone underregarded are the safeties. Nick Polk is a big-time talent. You're a big-time talent and a big-time hitter. Talk about what you two guys can do on the field. Uh, it's just great to be out there, first of all. You know, and, and uh, you know, we'll see. We're, I'm looking forward to the rest of camp and being out there, getting more reps with him. Uh, I love playing next to Nick. And, and uh, I think we can do some good things for this team this year. 35 upperclassmen on this year's football team. Talk about the experience and the, the leadership on this year's team. Um, I think you can just tell just from our first day out, you know, guys are our seniors, our guys that have been around here for four or five years, they just want it more. They're more excited about it and just willing to do take that extra step and do whatever it takes. Both you and Nick Polk have gained a considerable amount of bulk over your career here at Indiana. How nice is it to have a 25,000 square foot weight room? Oh man, I can't tell you. We actually worked in the, worked out in there today. It's, it's awesome. I, I wish we had some more time in there, but it's going to be something nice, something real special for anybody that comes here.